Hey, it's Tom from Texas and it's time for another floppy deep dive and today the purpose of this video is to show you how to hook up your Amiga 500 to a VGA monitor or to an HDM monitor. So just like when I took my Commodore 64 out of the attic after 30 years and tried to figure out how I was going to hook it up, when I got my Amiga 500 for the first time I didn't know how I was going to hook up my Amiga 500 to a monitor and all I had was a bunch of VGA monitors the monitors I had from my Commodore 64 and 128 how am I going to make this work so what I found is I found an adapter out there this one's for the HDMI but I also found one that works for the VGA monitors where I could hook up my Amiga 500 and it was just plug and play it was pretty flawless to do um, I read a lot of confusing things about how you had a, had a different megahertz and some monitor, VJ monitors could do it and some couldn't and blah, blah, blah. And it was just way too complicated and this just made it easy. So if you have an Amiga 500 and you're looking to how you're gonna hook it up to a monitor or what you're gonna use and all you have are your old VGAs or monitors or whatever, I'm going to show you exactly how to hook it up to either your TV with HDMI, your uh, monitor with HDMI, or your just old VGA monitor with the VGA plug. So go ahead, sit back, and let me show you exactly how I'll do it. So this is the Amiga VGA adapter that I use that had made it really simple to hook up the Amiga 500 to the VGA monitor. As you can see, on here there's the VGA out and then you also have your RGB in so this is going directly out to my VGA monitor and this one's going from my Amiga 500 directly into this box to be able to convert it so I can see the screen in the VGA and then I have these controls over here with the it has the little menu that shows you the up, down, and back in the menu. And that's where I can get into the box and you can change the language and you could change, you know, the how it looks on the screen and how it fits and different screen sizes. So the menu is actually really good. So I'm going to show you that next. So with this menu, I can bring up on my screen if I select the menu key. So I'm going to actually select here the menu button. And what that does is it brings this up onto my screen so I'm able to change the different settings and it's really easy to do by just scrolling through these different things. As you can see, I could change the brightness, the contrast, all that's directly in here. So then I also can change the geometry. And then this is where I can go in and change my horizontal or vertical position, the sizes of it all. And, and just make it where it fits my screen, the VGA monitor perfectly. Now, another thing that I can do is the display. And the display is where I can select if I want the 6, 640 by 480, 800 by 600, the 1024 by 768, or the 1360 by 768. So just little options that's built into this adapter, which is nice to have. The language I believe is just Chinese or English, so it's just default, I always have it on English. But it, and it's really easy to set up. It's a really just plug and play type adapter. One thing I don't like about the adapter is the power cord is very, very short. So you gotta have a, a plug-in relatively close. Other than that, it has worked perfectly for my Amiga 500. And this is how I got my Amiga 500 to hook up to my VGA monitor. So I also got an Amiga HDMI adapter, so if I wanted to hook it up to an HDMI screen. And it also is from, as you can see right on there, from RetroFriends.com. And it works the exact same way as the one for the VGA, except I'm going to hook it up to an HDMI monitor or TV or whatever I want to hook it up to. But this one, the biggest difference obviously, it has the HDMI cable coming out instead of the VGA cable that hooks directly to whatever device you're gonna hook it up to. And this one works perfectly. 
And that's it guys, it's that simple. So go out there, if you need one of these adapters, I'll put the link in the comment section. It's really pretty simple. It's a plug and play, let you get started and let you roll. So I'm sure there's many other ways to be able to hook up these Amiga 500s, but I found this to be simple for me. So I just want to share that with my subscribers and all the users out there. And until next time, thank you for joining me on another floppy deep dive. Yeah! Yeah!